this is Level Airlines, and I'm going to share my experience on board this low-cost carrier. If you are flying on Level, you're likely going to want to temper your expectations. Don't expect much. It's really no frills, and that's what you should expect if you're going to book a ticket on here. It's very easy to think you're buying a ticket on Iberia Airlines only to find out that you're co-chaired on Level. Believe it or not, the best part of the Level experience is their seatback entertainment. The screens in the back of the seat are large, responsive, and new. I've been on plenty of traditional airlines whose seatback entertainment either doesn't exist or is antiquated. Now, that is probably where my praise of level airlines will stop. There's not much beyond that. Okay, the aircraft that we flew on level was a 333 configuration. That meant it was pretty tight. The seats left little legroom, as you can see here. My knees were butting up against the seat in front of me the entire flight. Now, if this was a short haul trip, that really wouldn't be a problem. This flight, however, was a transatlantic flight, so I was in this position for about seven hours. The only thing I could imagine that would be worse than where I was on this seat would be the middle of the middle aisle. That would be tough. No food or soft drinks were included at all, but that's expected for a low-cost carrier. You could, however, buy snacks, so you'd absolutely be better off bringing your own snacks as opposed to buying these on board. So, let me know what you think about Level Airlines. Have you been on? If you have, drop a comment about your experience below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.